<laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Fuller Cup. Good morning, Heather Ruth Hall Connections. And good morning to those of you on my personal page. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Ah, it's the 64 days of gratitude journey. I know, right? Like we're at day 37 and it doesn't get old. I'm not going to say that it's always easy, but it doesn't get old. And I love it. I love that um, I did up a lot of these things. My graphic designer, she's done up a lot of things and put them ideas in because I just make a list and she goes. And it always turns out right. And so today, it's kind of funny because it showed me that sometimes I don't always read fully. I feel into what I'm inspired to talk about. And so I looked at the graphics. I've, I know what was coming up. And it said, I'm grateful for camping. And I wanted to talk about my favorite part of camping. Now, I love camping. And I love being in nature. And I love the idea of being disconnected. Um, unfortunately, the, because it's just so good for the soul. To, and what I mean by disconnected is I mean your phone doesn't work. You can't get on Facebook. You can't be on Instagram. And you're really in nature. And I don't sleep in a tent um, anymore. I used to. My husband and I bought a trailer like 10 years ago. And we have what's called a hybrid trailer. So we it's like pop-out tent beds and then a solid body because I wanted a bathroom. <laughs> Let's be honest. There are some luxuries in life that uh, we are uh, like would like and a bathroom was one of my things. And I just, I love it. I love waking up to the fresh air blowing over my face. I love to lay in the bed and listen to the birds chirp. I love to feel and hear the rustling of the leaves if, from the wind. But my favorite part of camping has to be the campfire. Um, my husband is a campfire genius. <laughs> he knows how to make them like in a second. He knows how to make them so that they stay and they burn and they smolder. And so we create amazing heat and ashes. And we have campfires a lot in our backyard. We do a lot of um, sitting around the fire because I find that it's just a place where you gather, where great stories are told, good connections are made. Um, sometimes you sit in silence and that's all you need is the crackling of the flames and the wood and, and you just feel it. And it's so potent and it's so rich and it's almost ceremonial to the core and that like campfires they just mm, they're so juicy and i've always loved them i remember doing roasting marshmallows in the campfire making s'mores with your friends the laughter the good times there's so much wrapped up in that and even today i love to when i have the ability to have a fire on a full moon and i burn a lot of things like old pages and journals that are no longer serving and I just need to get them out. Or we built, burnt, it felt so good, bills from like 10, 11, 12 years ago. And we just started burning them because we didn't have a shredder. And it was so fun. And, and in a moment, you could feel that release. And I didn't know that by storing this paper, these bills, these old things in a plastic bag in my garage until I found a place to recycle them was actually holding on to me. And so when we burnt them, it was such a release. And so campfires have always been one of my most favorite things. Um, I'm, I don't always love the smell of it when I'm at home the next day, but I love campfires, especially in camping. I love sitting there in the morning by the campfire, listening to the rustling, how I have my warm coffee and Baileys. Well, you can hear the egg sizzling and the bacon sizzling in the frying pan. I love coming back after a crisp walk and warming myself up by the fire. I love sitting at night and drinking hot toddies or whatever with my friends and laughing and reminiscing playing fire games with my kids, which is like basically putting sticks over the grates and seeing whose stick burns first. 
You know, these are the things that light us up and we need to remember them. We need to be grateful that we have the opportunity to do these things, to truly live in a world where we can have campfires, where we can go camping in wilderness and still experience wilderness, real, true, live wilderness. Now, some of the places in where I camp, have you ever woken up in the morning to a mom and you can hear it and you look outside your window and there's a big cow's head <laughs> staring at you, wondering what you're doing. Because where I live, we have a lot of free range ranchers. And so they allow their cows to just walk through their property, which is forest, and then the forestry sites butt up against them. Now, they have been destructive, so they've had to put up some fences to try and keep some of these cows out, but it was always magical, right? Camping is just a special, special treat, and it is by far the memory in which I cherish to this day the most is all of my different camping trips. That and all the trips I had with my dad and my, my mom and my stepdad on the ocean. Because that too is an element of camping and being with nature in a totally different form. And we have burnt campfires on ocean beaches and roasted hot dogs and kept warm in a damp, yucky afternoon, but was still beautiful and explorative. And so campfires are just joyful for me. And when I think about it, I can be transported in an instant. I can sit and stare at flames for hours as they dance and they move and they, they always create or invoke something within me to dance and to move and to feel that. They're free and they're elegant. They're powerful and they're potent, right? There's so much to a fire. And yes, if we procure them correctly, they are abundant. They replenish the earth. Ashes go back into the earth and they ground in. It's a cycle. It's meant to be that way. I take the ashes out of my own campfire in my backyard all the time and I put them into my garden because they're so rich and so beautiful for it. Ashes are so good, right? And burning and releasing is so good. And having a fire under a full moon is like bar none, one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. To just sit there and be. It's the purest form of being able to be is to sit and be around something that ignites creativity, that ignites the fires within yourself. So yeah, I'm grateful for fires and I'm grateful for camping and I'm grateful for nature. So I hope you guys have a most beautiful Tuesday. Go out there. My kids are hoping it snows today here. So it starts to feel like winter and feel a little bit more like Christmas. So I love you. I see you. I believe in you. And I'm here for you. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Bye.